It is the MABA Stadium and this is the bronze medal match between Singapore and Thailand. These two nations facing off as they did two years ago. Classifications uh, matches earlier. Lao defeated Myanmar in the men, 78-60. That's a round robin match for the women. Indonesia defeating Singapore by 21 and Vietnam downing Myanmar, 75-54. And now we are looking at a match between Thailand and Singapore that is uh, very hard to pick. They're coming out of um, different groups. They both lost their semi-finals. Philippines 68-60 over Singapore. Indonesia by five against Thailand. So that draws them together in the bronze match and the Philippines and Indonesia will contest the gold as ladies and gentlemen welcome two to the years ago also. between Singapore and Thailand the bronze medal game for the 2017 SEA Games we'll now have to start by announcing the respective teams and we'll start with Thailand number three Radak Kuratiwa number ten Thailand Land number twelve Bandit Lakhan number thirty Chanakon Pahan Number 50, Shukdev Goga. Number 27, Natakar Miyambul. Number 31, Shanatip Chakrawan. Number 36, Patipan Kahan. Number 65, Tanawa Chantachon. Number 69, Dalampan Apiron Bilai Chai. Number 77, Ananti Chichai. Number 99, Kano Sarojai. And the coach is Piyapo Piru. Assistant coach is Doug Marty. For the Singapore national team, number one is Lim Jun Yuan. Number four is Jonathan Chiu. Number five is Wong Wei Fong. Number nine is John Lo. Number ten is Leon Kui. Number eleven is Larry Liu. Number fourteen is Leon Chia. Number fifteen, Russell Low. Number 17, Unhan Bin. Number 18, Mitchell Fulgar. Number 23, Dalvin Go. And number 34, Lavin Raj. The coach is Frank Arcego. Ladies and gentlemen, finally stand for the national anthem of Thailand.
round of applause for both teams, ladies and gentlemen. And we would now like to invite Thailand and Singapore for the traditional handshake and exchange of gifts. And ladies and gentlemen, the three referees for today is Miss Kumiko Kumagai from Japan, Mr. H. Nanate from the Philippines, and Mr. Chu Wei Chuan from Malaysia. So the introductions have been done. Just a couple of minutes away from the start here, and this is the Thai roster. Tyler Lamb, number 10. Just take your eyes to the man second from the bottom on that roster. He is a uh, Thai American, his mother from Thailand, and he's only recently become eligible to represent Thailand. And he can do some damage. He scored an amazing 36 points out of uh, Thailand's 90 75 win over Malaysia. So look out for him. Aparam Milovachai will get plenty of court time. Singapore will have to be at their best to take this one out. And they've been a little bit hot and cold, I think it's fair to say. Singapore, they've actually played one more game than Thailand because they've come out of the slightly larger pool. Five teams in their pool, four in Thailand's. But looking for big games out of Wong Wei Long. Lim John Neon will start with Larry Liu, Russell Lowe, Delvin Go, who's been in hot form. Australian born coach Frank Arcego in control of Singapore. He's uh, well experienced with basketball around the Asian region and in particular in Singapore, of course, having previously coached the Slingers. And he's very happy to be back. There is, as the late, great Lawrence Yogi Berra said, a deja vu all over again. These teams meeting for the second SEA Games in a row in the bronze medal game. Pierre Pong Purun, head coach, assisted by uh, Doug Marty from the United States. Uh, Doug's also coached in Kuwait. Well, these coaches managed to apply their trade all around the world in interesting places and um, as long as they get results and enjoy it, what an interesting way to carve out a career. Del, you take the athletic kid, all right? Keep him off the glass, keep him off the glass, he's going to rebound, all right? So let's work on that, okay? What do you The key things for us to think about. เวลาเวลาวิ่งลงมาตัวแรกหรือว่าตัวท้ายอ่ะแม่งเช็คคุณไวหน่อยถ้าถ้าเรามีอะไรแล้วอ่ะแม่งพยายามเข้าคู่
uh, takes no time for uh, <laughs> Tyler Lamb to make his way to the basket. Can't get the first though. He's bound to get a few. It's just about limiting the damage he does. But Singapore. Charging foul. Wow. Mitchell Falkoff. It'll be about discipline as well. The teams have, they want to get themselves in foul trouble early in a quarter. Samajai brings it up the court for Thailand. He's 29 years of age now, in 99. Must have asked for that number. Lost the handle for a moment, Jakrawan. Oh, the rebound was there, they lost it. And then was stripped out of the hands of Gogar. Swing it back outside to Doran Pong. Someone too long in the key. We've seen this uh, in quite a few of the basketball matches here where the scoring just takes a while to start. Team's a bit nervous. Shooting hands a bit cold. Lim dealing and dicing around the paint. Now the shot from outside doesn't go. And the rebound, rebound is Thailand's. Lamb from outside. Oh, here we go. This man can play. I was reading a little bit about his uh, school and college career and there are highlight matches where he has uh, scored 25 and 30 points on a regular basis. Shot from Larry Liu, won't drop. So Singapore yet to trouble the scorers. A couple of minutes in. This is for the bronze medal. If you're just joining us. And uh, Kanut Samajai will go to the line. Nice little finger roll, even with the disruption. That's the earlier three from Lamb. So Thailand making a good start here. Kanut Samajai gets the extra. Singapore needs something to happen. Falkoff. Gets Singapore on the board. 27-year-old. Had three years out of the game. Helped set up a basketball training facility. And he's loving being back. Samajai. Done well to get that back. And the tip won't go. Uh, Singapore dispute the rebound, coming down with it eventually Larry Liu. Thailand by four, early going of this uh, bronze medal match. Delvin Go fouled. Tyler Lamb, the foul, and Singapore would, uh, wouldn't mind if they could get Tyler in foul trouble. Go at the line. I get a bit dizzy watching that shot. And Go gets both. That helps. Thailand looking to run the floor quickly. Swing it out to Lamb. Oh, he's got some moves, hasn't he? And drives into the basket. That is a joy to watch, except if you're a Singapore fan, of course. But that is fluid basketball from Tyler Lamb. I don't know if this story about him is true, but 
Apparently his parents' names are Terry and Cherry. Lamb. Just a gentle touch at the end. Well, oh, the rebound battle's going to be a good one today, I think. Whistle's gone. May have been against uh, Suktav Gogar. Lim. Larry Lou. Back to Lim. Lim loses his man. Nice move. Total, totally fooled his opponent. Go. Lamb liked what he saw, but uh, it wouldn't drop for him. 8-6 Thailand. Four minutes gone in the bronze game. Singapore came from behind two years ago when they did win this uh, fixture in Singapore. The last quarter, I think it was 16 to 8, and they only won at 54 49. So they won by 8 and won the quarter. Sorry, they won by 5 and won the quarter by 8. Go. <laughs> he was getting bumped, so he just gave back a little elbow. Lamb gives it off. And that was there to be finished. Uh, Chantachon maybe should have uh, finished off that basket. He was right at the ring. Go. Thought about backing into the paint. Instead, it's a nice little spin move that goes unrewarded from Russell Lowe. Continuation waved away, not that it uh, went through. Mitchell Falkoff leaves the game for the moment. Chatterchon gives it off for the three, hard off the rim. Oh, it's come into the hands of Gogar. Hands over almost every possession. There's serious D going on in this game. It is an uncharacteristically uh, poor shot from Tyler Lamb. Both coaches out of the chair. Haven't seen a lot of minutes from 14, Leon Chia, a 20-year-old from Singapore. He's on now. I've been fortunate enough to do a couple of the Singapore games. Oh, Lim. Got all the way to the bucket and couldn't find it. Samajai. Lim. Chance to make up for that, perhaps. Singapore ball. Thai coach pleads otherwise. And Lim checks out in favour of Wong Wei Long. 29 year old with more experience than most in this Singapore lineup. I think if Singapore are to prevail here, they're going to need a uh, significant contribution from Wong. Oh, well, that was nearly a soft turnover. Couldn't quite complete the possession Gogar so it's back in Singapore this tied defense advancing on them every chance and there's a, another steal Thailand turning over a goodly amount of possession Duren Pong Apiramalivichai Lou 
inside was go and they're missing some very gettable shots at the moment Singapore not much a coach can do about that if it's just technique rebound goes straight to the hands of Leon Chia it's a bit of a drought on the scoreboard for Singapore with six and a half minutes gone and only six points to show for it it can be like this Chia shot clock violation for Singapore that kind of sums up their first quarter Duran Pong up from Villachai The Thai names take some uh, some rehearsing. Oh, they've given it straight back, and everyone was venturing back up the court, except Wang Boon helps himself to a soft two. Some worrying soft errors coming from Singapore, and also not converting on the possession they do have eventually they set a decent screen oh. and they're missing from three feet and what to say about this two years ago Larry Liu actually fouled out in the bronze medal game but he also had eight points in the first quarter which is more than Singapore have had as a team so far two and a half to go though they might uh, get some points yet certainly hope so for their sake oh, and that return ball to Leon Quek just came a little more quickly than he was expecting and also came to his feet timing placement it's not quite there at the moment for Singapore Six on the shot clock, going to have to be efficient here. Go, does go. Well, that might just lift the team for the closing couple of minutes of this first quarter that has really not gone Frank Arcego's team's way. Wang Boon wanted to pull the trigger, I think. Thailand with Tyler Lamb off the court at the moment and a travel violation against Thailand so the only good thing about Thailand not scoring many points is that sorry Singapore not scoring many points is that Thailand haven't either go Lou way long kicks it out Mm. Leon Quick with the miss. Oh, they left him alone. Uh, fortunate to <laughs> Singapore that that he missed. And now they've got a three on one here. And the go-to guy is Delvin Go indeed. And they're only down by a couple. But it could have been much worse. 70 seconds left in the first quarter. So the miss, Thailand. Bandit Lakhan. Oh, big vote, it was 77, so that's uh, Chichai Ananti. The attempt from Kruatiwa won't go. Singapore were to convert this possession. And tie it up at 12. Be surprising scoreline really. They haven't been too good. 
The missed three-pointer not really contested by Singapore. First to it was Russell Lowe after the fail three from Ananti. Shot clock's just inside the game clock. Doesn't quite go. Well, a low scoring, hotly contested, high defensive first quarter. And Thailand leading Singapore in this bronze medal playoff, 12 points to 10. Let's hope they light it up with the scoring in the second quarter. We'll be back in a moment for that. To have you back with us Thailand and Singapore in the bronze medal game just some highlights out of uh, first quarter there weren't too many scoring highlights a little bit of defense to be perhaps pleased with Doran Pong upper Rum Villachai number 69 for Thai the ties and uh, Wang Boon who stole a couple of points late in that quarter. Singapore, four from 15, five from 19 from the field, so it's not too flash there. 14-11, the rebounds to Singapore. Both teams, perhaps, in the first period, feeling the pressure of uh, the importance of this match. Pause before we resume. Kumako Kumagai seems to have got it sorted. Now they're happy. Wong Wei Long on for the start of this second quarter for Singapore. Has it now. Quick. There's a push against uh, Kruatiwa. John Ng, also on for Singapore. Thailand just not making this easy for Singapore. You wouldn't expect them to in a match like this. Three bounces off the rim. Leon Quick registered the foul. Singapore through the round robin were three and one. Their loss was to Indonesia, 70-54. We played poorly in the second half of that match. They were well in it until the break. Chadachan jams it in. Thailand first to score in the second. Quick. John Ng is in 17, closest to camera here. He can be a very important player when he's on. Has it now, thinks about the three, pulls up at the free throw line and gets them. Cortina gives it off. 
Fouled though was uh, Terawat Chantachan. Anti Chantachan. Chantachan, uh, 191 centimetres and 100 kilos. He's a fairly solid unit. Gets them. You're going to need a lot of minutes and a lot of points out of Delvin Go and Larry Liu and Russell Lowe. Lowe is back on. Oh, and the three is a lifter from John Ng. The kind of uh, shot that just gives some relief on the scoreboard and to the team generally. And again, pulls up at the elbow and gets another couple. And Singapore hit the lead for the first time. Long range attempt from Kruatiwa won't go. Singapore ball, that's the way the ref saw it. Two triple change coming for Thailand. John Ng's heart's got to be racing after picking up five points in about 20 seconds. And the second effort doesn't fall for Delvin Go. Tyler Lamb is back on. Over on this side in 10. Well, I thought they'd got it back there, Thailand, but... <laughs> I was watching the Thai coach. Every time a ball goes out, he's signalling that's a Thai possession. The referees are paying him no mind. John Ng, the man with the hot hand at the moment. And they'll be keen to keep him on if they can. Singapore. Just a bit loose with the carry was Russell Lowe. Thailand helped themselves to another steal and two points on the end of it. Kanut Samajai. Cannot be careless with the ball around a defence as tight as Thailand's. Little shoulder fake there from Go. Didn't fool anybody. Trying to Jakra one. Disappointed with the call. Larry Liu checks out in favour of Mitchell Folkoff. Those things to get sorted out over at the tech bench. Timing. Who's got how many timeouts left? Who's got how many fouls? Delvin Go. Pushes. Singapore. 17. Tied up at 18. Three and a half gone in the second quarter and the three goes. Samajai.
In a tight, low-scoring game, these occasional threes uh, seem to be worth more than the three. Thai defence having trouble dealing with the, the moves of Wei Long. They fouled him. Kanwit Samajai. Nothing but net with that one. It's not been the strongest aspect of Singapore's games here in Kuala Lumpur. A free throwing. Wong gets the second though. That was a good put back from uh, Sukhdav Goga. Falkov wheeling around the arc. Seven on the shot clock. And pulls the trigger from out wide and gets them again. He's got eight points in this quarter. Thailand, one to the good as a little left-hander from Tyler Lamb. Puts them back out by three. 5.20 out from halftime. This is the bronze medal game. Singapore in the white, Thailand the blue. And it's no surprise it's a tight game. That's the only sort they seem to play, these two teams, when they get together. Reminding you, two years ago in the bronze medal game, it was 54-49 to Singapore. Both lineups significantly changed since then. Lamb not having the kind of game he obviously had against uh, Malaysia, as I mentioned early on, had 36 points. And what was in the media described as a single-handed effort. Well, he had plenty of support. Here he is. See what he does here. This goes for the straightforward layout. Went to a high school in Santa Ana, California, then attended UCLA where he played for a couple of years. Hmm, looks like he was fouled there, didn't it? Coach and player thought so. Anyway, doesn't complain too hard, which uh, is all to his credit. Thailand back out by five. You tuck your shirt in, please. me of my mother before I used to go to school every morning. Well, I went to school most mornings. Falkov. And it uh, wasn't a seriously hard chase for the rebound again from Singapore. I like to see them a bit more urgent on the boards. But sometimes when a player shoots from outside, you're not expecting it. And Kanut Samajai is troubling the Singapore defence. He's able to penetrate. He can pull them, pull the trigger from outside, and I'm not quite sure how to deal with him. And we've got a timeout with Thailand up by five. Four to go in the second. It is the bronze medal playoff against Singapore. What we're dealing with is we're dealing with physical, aggressive man-to-man -man defense. Russ, notice how where you get the catch, how far you're off the block. Remember what we worked on? If he's pushing on you, spin and rotate to the baseline, right? Accentuate the hole. Accentuate's pulling you back. Stick your head underneath the basket and put your hands up, right? So if you're on the outside and you're looking for us, give him a chance to go back underneath the basket and then come again in front, right? Okay, don't go. Let's go. 
So Thailand, their leading scorer is Tyler Lamb, even though he's been relatively quiet. And Delvin Go with 10, only man in double figures so far. 10 continues to be quite a low scoring game. Samajai to the line. Wonder how much of the time out he spent thinking about these free throws. He executes. <laughs> Someone with a, I don't know whether that drum is annoying or it's fun, but um, anyway, it's here. Um, banging on a dustbin lid, that's what it sounds like. Thailand now by seven. Singapore need a couple of conversions late in the quarter like they had in the first. They looked out of sorts, got a couple of late buckets and we're back in the match. And he's looking for the foul there, Russell Lowe, but instead they've got a, another turnover so they can get set again. And the foul there. And a uh, Jakrawan? Or has he just slapped that one away? I didn't see a foul there. Oh. Hmm. Need about three looks to get that right. Wasn't too much in it. Certainly Pirun Piapong for Thailand thought that, that was clean, good defence. And draws the margin back to five. Lamb through some fairly stationary traffic they were ball watching Singapore and just let Tyler through Thailand doing better in the paint inside someone needs to take a shot Delvin Go fought hard to get possession back, but uh, the clock was against him. And Thailand just stepping it up in D. This is where they're winning it at the moment. Lamb can't find it. Oh, it nearly made a mess of the rebound, Singapore, but it's okay. Again, shot clock pressure. Somebody needs to pull the trigger. At least it hit the rim, so get another 14 seconds, and they don't need many of them. Russell Lowe. Who's got it? Lowe. Cross to Larry. Lou. So Singapore have got the stop, and what can they do with it? That's well, freed up Tyler Lamb. You know what happens here. One for the fans. And he's he's one to watch, Tyler Lamb. He's got the moves. He's got to Singapore in a bit of bother. He's the leading scorer for Thailand. Oh, took his eyes off it a little bit early. Did Russell Lowe. 
Again, make the point that uh, Thailand have got their hands out looking for a touch, a steal, anywhere they can. Singapore trailing by seven, so they want to uh, just pause here. Just the three steps. <laughs> uh, the the footwork, I'm I'm never sure what's all right anymore. They, they changed the travel rule a couple of years ago. No opportunity of getting a rebound. <coughs> right, we need to have our movement, we need our players moving off the ball. Remember our four principles, we get our good shot with spacing and ball movement. Right? If we're handling the ball... <laughs> 13 for Tyler Lamb and a couple of rebounds, he's shooting at 50%. Well, I'll just try and get the ball to him. Yeah, that's okay. I have no issue with that footwork. Or there. Yeah, maybe it's all right after the dribble. Uh, another look. Sometimes the feet are too fast for my mind. Um, the, the thinking behind the change to the footwork rule really was that we want to see more uh, sensational plays, and I'm and I'm for that. It's just uh, that they let it go for a long time where they weren't calling travelling, so they changed the rule to fit in with what the players were doing, which is the tail kind of wagging the dog. Not even that that's history. 33-26. Thailand with quite a nice little buffer here. As long as they look after it in the closing seconds and go to the break confident that they can do the job in the second half. Ooh. I'm not sure that didn't come off Delvin Go, but the, uh, the referees are sure. <laughs> Volkov. Someone to take an effective shot. Low. Falkoff comes in. Gets bumped at the crucial moment. And Lamb doesn't get a chance to get down the other end and or even throw up uh, one in hope. And that's a, a pretty good first half for Thailand. They've got a seven-point lead. 26-33. So they've won the first two quarters. Firstly by two. 33-26. Looking good for Thailand in the bronze medal playoff.
It's the moment you've been waiting for. Look at that focus. Everyone's on the edge of their seats. This is the one that counts. We're waiting. We'll leave. Stand up. Stand tall. Thirty-one million hearts beat this one. Welcome back to the MABA Stadium where it's uh, Thailand leading Singapore in the bronze medal game 33 to 26. Uh, a friend of mine says history doesn't repeat but it sure does rhyme and this is very reminiscent of two years ago. I was just looking back at the quarter by quarter scores in uh, 2015 in Singapore where these two teams met in this identical match. It was 14 all at quarter time. Here it was 12-10 to Thailand. And then Thailand, in the second quarter two years ago, won that quarter 17-11, so they had a six-point lead. Now they're leading by seven. In the third quarter, Singapore came back two years ago, won that by three, and the last quarter by eight, and they won the match eventually, 54-49. So just for the fun of it, let's see how close history cares to repeat itself. And if you're... a a fan of this Singapore team, you'll be hoping it does. But the difference is partly 
Tyler Lamb, who's got uh, 13 points. Ng Han Bin for Singapore, their leading scorer with 12. The field shooting from Singapore is average at 29%, 39% for Thailand. Rebounds still slightly favouring Singapore at 22 to 20. Points in the paint, 20 to 12 for Thailand. Five steals to three for Thailand. Third quarter's underway. Thailand, of course, in the blue, if you're just joining us. Oh, -ho, good start. Kanat Samajai. He's been uh, a thorn in the side of Singapore, particularly in that second quarter, and he started well in the third. Russell Lowe backing his way in against Lamb. Fires over the top of him and does it well. Samajai back inside. Picked up uh, Gogar quite easily. Can get the shot away. Seven on the shot clock now. And Chakrawan. The lead is 10. Oh, that's a poor pass uh, from Wang Wei Lei. Unselfishly from Lam to Samajai. And they've all but doubled their half-time lead in a minute and a half, Thailand. The impressive thing about the Thai defence is how quick and persistent they are with their hands. And created the open look from deep. And they get the three for Ng Han Bin. Bench looks a little glum. Lamb. as well for Singapore. He's not having as big an influence as we talked him up as possibly having. Singapore just a bit stuck on this possession. Not too much happening. Finally a foul. Mitchell Falkoff comes back on for Ng Han Bin. Sukdav Goga chalks up the foul. Then Jun Yuan back then. Took too long. Bit more movement, please, says Frank Asago. In an option. But, uh, that's great marking from Thailand. You don't see that turnover too often. Low gets the rebound. Need to get it out of the backcourt in a hurry. They do. He doesn't look after the ball well enough, Russell Lowe. He always looks likely to give up a steal. Oh, and this is a uh, tie possession. Kind of lamb grimacing about the, uh, the points that didn't go scored moments ago. But still by nine. It's a very active coach on the sideline, isn't he? Purun Pliapong. Uh, 
Up in the illegal screen, I think, from Goga. Falkoff. Off to Lim. Lim needs an option. This is where it's all drying up. Where's the imagination? Where's the execution? Where's the planning? Shot clock. It's going to beat them. Somebody's got to put it up. They don't. Oh, that's disappointing for the coach and the players. And, and, but if you... Thailand, you go, well, that's great D. Sago, he's about to burst a blood vessel, I think. He picked that up very easily, Tyler Lamb. It wasn't a great pass to him. He's, he's got great hands. Volkov trying to, trying to mark him. Volkov sticking with him without fouling him if he can. And they do get the turnover, Lim. Chanatip Chakrawan with the foul. So a bit more about the Mitchell Falkoff. Uh, listening to something he said about the way he plays the game. He likes to play it really physically. He is strongly built, the Singapore number 18. Of course, he owns a training facility. Obviously works out a lot himself. He's got great upper body strength. Into the game to do a job comes the big man, the big young man, Lavin Raj. All 200 centimetres of him. Raj. Well, he wasn't given a, a good ball first up to, to try to collect. Go. Saves his blushes. Volkov inside, go. Go, muscles his way into a better position. They get the rebound. Volkov finishes it. Yeah, he likes to play as hard as he can, Volkov, without fouling. Just put as much pressure on the opposition. He likes a physical game, is what I'm saying. It's an interesting time to bring young Lavin Raj into the game. He doesn't get a lot of minutes. Volkov! And Singapore dragged it back to just a five-point deficit. He's everywhere, Falkov. And, oh, it's an over and back. He just flirted with a halfway line, and that's Falkov stepping up defensively again. See what I mean about uh, He's got some serious by and triceps, hasn't he? Loves the contest, and that's the, he's the kind of player who can inspire teammates with his physicality. Raj. I don't know if that's part of the plan. <laughs> and coach just telling him, get down the floor, get down the floor. And he contributed to that rebound. Love and Raj just by his size and persistence. Arms up. Big unit backing towards the, the key. He's got it now. And scores. See, that's what the coach wants from him. He's got to use his size. He's a, he's a bit of a hero. <laughs> and he's so young. He, you know, he's still learning the game. Doesn't yet fully know how to use his natural assets. His teammates are delighted for him. He doesn't... He doesn't get a lot of minutes, but with things going sour, Singapore had to try something. Frank Arcego said, you go in, show me what you've got. What an opportunity. Bronze medal game, and he's on.
420 left in the third. Samajai. That's one out of two. Go to Folkoff. Masega telling him which way to go. He's going to get around to Tyler Lamb. Raj oh, threw his hands, but Folkoff was there to assist. Larry Lou turns, shoots. And they finish it off. This is a, an impressive run from Singapore. <laughs> a bit of joking around on the bench too. They're, they're in good spirits. It's the end of a, a tough campaign. And they're really giving it something now, turning it into a... Raj, who's got it? It's on the floor. And it'll be... A possession arrow. Helping each other up. Gee, that's great to see. Play it hard. Play with passion. But still make these Southeast Asian games the friendly games. And I think we're seeing that spirit right there. Lim to bring it up the floor once more for Singapore. Lou. Of course, two years ago, the Thailand players who were around in Singapore for the Sea Games wouldn't have run into uh, Lavin Raj. He was only 15 then. Here he is at the line. If he even gets one of these, the crowd will go nuts. So it's just a one-point game. Now, Thailand were threatening five minutes ago to waltz away with it. That's the way basketball goes. Teams get on a run, momentum changes. It's just hard to get it back when you lose it. 41-40, timeout called. เล่นสูงสูงเรียกแอลได้เรียกโอเพนแบ็กสปีนได้เอาเอาเซ็นเตอร์ที่ที่จับมาสปีนมาแบ็กแบ็กไทเลอร์ก็ได้ใช่ไ
And there's some shot clock pressure there. Marvin Raj had to put the attempt up. He wasn't as close as he wanted to be when he was running out of seconds. He checks out now. Back in comes In Han Bin. And the young bloke is welcomed back to the bench. Thanked for his efforts. And if we'll see him some more in the last quarter. Still and go. Trying to give Tyler Lamb nothing. Falkov forces him into an error, but he gives it straight back. Man, <laughs> Falkov's got it again. Mm, it's a pinball bouncing around between the teams. Long way long. Through some traffic. Oh, ambitious pass. Lamb. Samajai. He's just too quick, isn't he? Nimble. Gets a pass away. That's great defense. <laughs> Samajai regathered it. Tyler Lamb. Try and stop him taking a shot. Shot clock violation it was. That's great D from Singapore. Volkov takes a break. G works hard when he's on court. Thailand by a couple. 95 seconds left until three-quarter time. And the bronze medal is totally up for grabs. There's Larry Liu being escorted around by Tyler Lamb. Wong. These bounce passes are a good idea as long as they're received. Pulling down the rebound, Kanat Samajai. Oh, cynical applause for the referee. I don't like to see that. That's what it looked like to me anyway, Kanat Samajai. <laughs> Wong Wei Long has slapped it on to uh, Samajai's knee. That's how that came about. And the shot's not going. The most recent of them there from Russell Lowe. It's just great pressure from the respective defences under the basket. He is like a fortress. Tyler Lamb fouled. Half a minute left in the third quarter. Thailand desperate to add to their skinny lead now. his way in, Dallin Pong, up around Villachai. And he'll go to the line for a couple. And Singapore will have possession. Well, they may not if he misses the second and Thailand take the rebound. He doesn't miss the second. And it's 44-41. It should be. It's not yet. 
That'll adjust it. We've had that happen a few times in the tournament. And Singapore denied. Late chance for Thailand. Two seconds. Throw it up. Doesn't get time to do so. Unfortunately, Wong Wei Long perhaps not had eyes for the game clock. Could have at least tossed it from mid-court, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So it's uh, three-quarter time as uh, Delvin go, goes to the bench with a dozen points. And it's still Thailand with a lead. So we'll come back for the final quarter. And Thailand hanging on. And a small lead over Singapore. 43-41. Some highlights out of that uh, third quarter. Tyler Lamb was kept reasonably quiet, but unfortunately for Singapore, Kanat Samajai was anything but quiet. He was having a riot. Nevertheless, Singapore got themselves back in contention after trailing by 10. And uh, lead, we're going to re-establish exactly what the score is. It should be 44-41. The on-screen graphic, I believe, was incorrect as the uh, score inside the venue shows it's uh, Thailand 44. Singapore 41. We'll see what comes on the screen. We'll sort it all out in good time. No, still don't want to move it. Anyway, we'll, we'll persist with the game. That's an uh, important thing for the moment. Love and Raj is back on. limp and get around the traffic seven on the shot clock and they're moving further and further away from the basket have to pull the trigger from out wide uh, Raj is there oh the uh, crowd so wants him to score from Villachai brings it up for Thailand so nine and a quarter minutes away from knowing who the bronze medalist is unless of course you need uh, more time Samajai proving to be the influential man Tyler Lamb Looked like he would be in the early going. He just slips through the smallest gap. He's just under 180 centimetres. He's played a lot of basketball. He's uh, almost 30 now. Knows the moves, the tricks, where the spaces are. And they're getting a lot of trouble, Singapore, getting the ball back in. That is not a happy smile, believe me, from Frank Arcego. Well, 
Polkoff is coming over to the bench. I think it might be a blood issue. Yeah. So he's... He's copped a scratch. Under that left eye certainly looks like a scratch. And then he's had some skin taken away from closer to the nostril. On a car you call that the air intake. Tyler Lamb. Strolling through traffic, getting a bump along the way. Stuttering start to this final quarter. It's Thailand by five. Samajai. Upper on Villachai. Heading for foul trouble is Singapore. Larry Liu. the trailing team and in team foul trouble Russell Lowe Larry Liu and uh, Lavin Raj leave the game for the moment Singapore trying to force the shot from out wide Samajai gets around everybody and that's uh, Singapore possession. Gee, uh, Kenneth Savage, I thought it was his. I uh, don't really know why. That looked a fairly straightforward call for the refs. This time they get it in a bit more efficiently. Lou. Needs to take control here and get the shot away. Go. Yep. Tell them go. Can he anchor a Singapore revival here? Upper on Villachai. In heavy traffic, Thailand somehow got the rebound. Tracking back to that game two years ago, we were wondering whether the uh, the scoring trend would be replicated. Well, three quarter time here by my score, Thailand were three up. Two years ago, they were four up. And Singapore went on to win the last quarter, 16-8. I I can't feel that coming. It's going to be tighter. If Singapore were to get up, I don't think it's going to be by many. They've been trailing for a long time now. Falkoff. Go, trying to back in. Oh, it wasn't a great shot from Russell Lowe. The tie defence had him wrapped up. Samajai. He's a jack in the box. He's just full of energy and moves. And the rebound, not cleanly taken by Jakrawan, but it's off Singapore hands. Darren Pong, Aparam Villachai, the uh, 69 for Thailand. He and Samajai. Quite dominant on court at the moment. And there he is, Aparam Villachai. Throwing in another couple. Singapore need a couple of 
comfortable trips down court and convert early in the uh, shot clock. Not only just keeping them away from the basket. And the turnovers again. Here's Russell Lowe, his hands letting him down. Frank Arcego needs to stop the trend here. Here's the shot from Durham Pong, Aparam Villachai. Here's where the coaches earn their money. Goes the leading scorer. We are, we're, we're hitting the wall, boys. Right? This is where we need to step up. Put yourself out there to the best of your ability. Right? We need some more movement. So we're going to go four out. Right? Four out. You know the concepts of four out, right? So we've got the pass to the wing, we cut. We pass across, we exchange. <laughs> Samajai with 20 points now. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> They're a bit shy. Thailand under seven minutes away from reversing the result from two years ago. He'll be looking for the bronze medal here. Tyler Lamb puts up the shot. They can't take a clean rebound, Singapore. Volkov was just there, but it was not really reachable. Chanatap Jakrawan. They're just looking more assured inside the arc in attack Thailand they get the impression of knowing better what they're doing Singapore cannot afford to miss the close in shots as they've done again that time it was um, Leon Quek Samajai oh, has it stripped but who's it fall to? Jakrawan oh a telling one from Aparam Villachai. Now out by nine. Well, that helps. Three-pointer for Singapore. Five to go. Swing it across to Aparam Villachai. Chakra one working inside, needs some help, goes out to Lamb. Lamb just tries to hip Falkoff out of the way, steps. Oh, slick move from Tyler Lamb. Falkoff looks one way, gives it instead to Quek. Quek cashes in on the excellent assist from Falkoff. From Villachai as Thailand work up the court through Samajai. Lamb. Oh. Aparam Villachai. Oh, he's good. He's very good. Thailand bench players out of their seats every time there's a score. Bounce of the ball not favouring the Singapore rebounders. Lamb. A Tyler Lamb only becoming eligible to play for Thailand this year, even though he has held a, a Thai passport for quite a while it was a bit of a process early in the year to 
Make him eligible. So Lamb at the line, looking to make this a double-digit lead. Mm. <laughs> Falkoff and Lamb have been at each other most of the match. Tyler just giving uh, Falkoff a bit of a push on the way past. I'm sure they'll manage to shake hands at the end, or at least I hope so. Thailand by 10. They've got one hand on those bronze medals. One way long. So Wong to the line. Needs both. One good thing about free throws if you're the trailing team is that uh, you get to take the attempts with the clock not running. Back to eight. Yeah. Oh, and then. Oh, and uh, that has got Frank Arcego very upset. So after the second free throw. Was a, a sportsmanlike foul. <laughs> nice try from Tyler Lamb. So Jakrawan to the line. Or well, perhaps uh, cast aspersions on uh, Tyler Lamb's good character. Perhaps there was some confusion. So of course Thailand will get possession back after this oh well we couldn't see what happened around the front whether the hand came up towards the face of Jakrawan from Ong Han Bin Possession finally for Singapore. 10 is not impossible in 3 minutes 20. But just watch this Thai defence go to work now. They're quite a unit. Falkov. Lamb guarding him down court. And the other two have been going hardest at each other. Can't question their enthusiasm. A couple of times it's got a bit willing. Don't like to see unsportsmanlike fouls in any game, but they do happen. The heat of battle sometimes gets to more players, uh, players more than some players more than others, is what I was trying to say. So Lou on for Leon Quick. So the Singapore cause not yet lost. It's just uh, a desperate one. And three seconds in the key. Oh. You've got to take the shot more urgently, more quickly. Not just to avoid a three second violation, but Let's look at the clock here and look at the score. You're down by 10, three minutes to go. Tyler Lamb, they'll start to try and wind down the clock. 
Thailand if, if they want to. That's their option. Darren Pong, upper on Villachai, drew the foul out of Singapore. There he is. Uh, upper on Villachai, certainly Samajai, and Tyler Lamb, the standout performers. Sukdav Goga has had a strong performance on the boards for Thailand. Upper on Villachai. Pretty cool looking dude. Go plays on quickly for Singapore. Lead is 12. Nearly dispossessed on halfway was Wong. And that ball was bounced out by Folkov. He doesn't believe it. And I'm reluctant to say that things are unraveling a bit for Singapore. They've made some basic errors across the match. They hurt more when there's only a few minutes to go and you're trailing. I think the defensive pressure mounted all game by Thailand is having its reward now. Lamb. Back then with Falkov. He's got hands everywhere, Falkov. He's trying. Maybe a Singapore possession. It's come off uh, Chanatap Jakawan. Frank Arsago really playing his last card here, I think. Call the players in. Try and pass uh, Larry, some magic you got the ball from here. him to them. Right. Durban, you're the passer. Russ, you're here. Mitch, you're here. Way long, you're here. Right? Okay, we're heading this way, like this. Right? What I want you to do is, I want you to step. Right? I want you to pass, when you see that, when you see that pass go, I want you to swing and position yourself inside, right? Okay, if you don't, if it's, it's not luck. โอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้
and the referees are discussing this one. Tick foul on Leon Quick. Oh, should have got that right. Well, that was certainly one way long. Anyway, there was a foul earlier than that. But And what we've got here is Thailand putting the finishing touches on a good win. They won the second quarter, 21-16. Singapore did win the third quarter, 15-11. <laughs> Having a bit each way, Larry Lou missing there. So 64.50. Referees having quite a job sorting out um, the fouls and who did what to whom. But the, uh, the scoreboard tells the ultimate story as we get inside the last uh, minute and a half now. Um, oh, it's got a count. Yeah. Goal tending. Can't push the ball away from underneath the net through the hoop. Well, you can, you just can't get away with it, hopefully. Can it Samajai? Well, the Thai boys look pretty confident about the outcome. They were looking pretty happy. Failing some kind of disaster, they'll have the bronze medals around their necks later. Not immediately after the game. Got to wait until uh, the uh, gold and silver medals are also presented after that match, which will be between the Philippines and Indonesia. The empty out. You step this way first. Del, when you catch the ball, you look like you're going to pass and you just rip and go to the basket, right? One on one to the basket. Get on his hip, take it low, get there. What you want to do is, when he drives, if he stops you, stop and look back and you come in behind him for the three ball. Got it? I do. Nice and simple. Let's get that shot up. Defensively, go for it. Frank Arcego is not giving up on the cause. It'd be a bad sign to his players if he did. He's not. But at uh, 64.52 with uh, 93 seconds left, let's see what can happen here. Samajai picks up Lamb. Volkov follows him in. Lamb gets the shot up and eventually gets the disputed rebound, misses again. Go. Pulls it down eventually. Low to Lou. This is not happening quickly enough. Go drives in. Got it back to 10 with a minute to go. Samajai. Oh, how did he do that? That was quick thinking. Just slapped the ball out to outside the perimeter where it was picked up by a teammate. Falkov. Oh, we Tripped up by Abram Vilichai. Falkov is sore. Both men go hard to the floor. And it will go against Durham Tong, Abram Vilichai. This is one hard day at the office. Well, he stuck the leg out there. I'd call that unsportsmanlike myself. Let's watch the right knee stick out here. 
Hmm. Ah. It's been that kind of game, I'm afraid, in the last quarter. Scrappy. Oh, the team wants to lose this one, but it looks like Singapore will have to dip their lid to Thailand. Blasted up from uh, an incident earlier. Mitchell Falkoff knows he's been in a game. But don't worry, he gives as good as he gets. And he wouldn't have it any other way. So it's got to be played within the rules. That's my concern that this is occasionally stepped outside those boundaries. Pulls it back under double digits. And I think they lined up <laughs> Brom Villachai there. They wanted to, if they were going to foul someone, it was going to be him because they didn't like the look of what he did to Falkov. But anyway, here we go. This, these last uh, 40 seconds might take a while. And Hanbin hangs his head. Where did it get away? Well, partly in the second quarter, which was won by Thailand 21-16. They only led by two at the first break, then seven. Bit of a comeback from Singapore in the third. 44-41 was the margin of the score at three-quarter time. Blue fouls Lamb. Having a bit of a laugh about it. Blue's off. Not too much to feel celebratory about right now for Singapore. Hong Kong Eastern Lions, so he's not uh, so very far from Thailand, not as far as California is, which is uh, where he was raised. He's been playing some basketball in Asia since leaving uh, college in the States. 26 now. Last 15 seconds. Steam has gone out of the contest, of course. And Lamb, he's not giving up on anything. And he's going to finish with the ball in his hands, which is uh, somewhat appropriate, I think. He's, he's been one of the stars of the day. Hasn't been a one-man show at all. Thailand, a lot of contributors. And they have won the bronze medal match 65-55. And that uh, turns things around from two years ago when it was Singapore who prevailed 54-49. A rather low scoring, very physical match. But I think on balance, it has to be said, Thailand deserved the win. Kanat Samajai couldn't be kept quiet. He uh, was a, a big performer, too quick, too prolific. And I was very impressed too with the game of Darren Pong, Aparam Villachai, a 32 year old, it's uh, physical and hard to contain also. Tyler Lamb, great game from him. Uh, Mitchell Falkoff probably, along with Delvin Go, the best for Singapore. They struggled today. They didn't bring their best to the table when it mattered the most. And congratulations to Thailand for the job they've done here at the 29th Southeast Asian Games. It's a sweet revenge for two years ago.
Sonia Chia from Malaysia.